eye for eye There is no middle ground, you either win or die You gotta watch the cats who watch your back You can get hit quick, man, and that's We are big Game of Thrones fans, I'm a big Game of Thrones fan But, uh, just the TV show, I, I didn't even know they were books uh, this guy on the other hand, I'm a fan of the books. He's a fan of the books. He Not reads. The, no, the, the TV show's good too. Just you know, read the books first. So in the spirit of that, um, I thought it would be really cool to get a Game of Thrones inspired beer from Olm Gang, um, and it is Game of Thrones. Take was it? Take the Black Stout. Nice. All right. Seven percent. I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's a little bit of readings on there. I don't know if yeah, you want to sure. get it's into it. Sure, it's been a while. I mean, it's been, you know, for, for old time's sake. So uh, this is actually licensed through HBO, of course. It is, uh, it's a stout. It's an ale brewed with star anise and licorice, licorice root. Licorice. licorice. So it's uh, a stout as dark as the winters that once engulfed Westeros. As robust, as robust as the men who swear their oaths at the weirwood tree, chocolate and caramel sweetness are balanced by a hop bitterness, roasty, woodsy notes, and an earthly finish. Pour slowly. Do not disturb the yeast sediment. Oh. But with vigor! Wait. Pour, but, with, pour, but, but, but with vigor! Uh, the, of the Night's Watch figure? To make some luxurious head and free the boy. I like luxurious head. God. <laughs> this thing good. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, let's pop the top. Sweet. I can do that. Hey, wow. Mm hmm. Hmm. Ooh, that smells a lot like. Uh, Are we like joining that. the Night's Watch? <laughs> what does that entail? Night gathers, and now my watch begins. It shall not end until my death. I shall take no wife, hold no lands, father no children. I shall wear no crowns and win no glory. I shall live and die at my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realm of men. I pledge my life and honor to the night's watch. For this night, I'm not joining the Night's Watch. <laughs> You're not going to take the black? Take the black? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll let you take the black. The bla <laughs> right so, from the get-go, I, go I can it. smell just that black licorice, that black fruit, you know, the, yeah. the dark cherries and stuff. Plums, and like a plum mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's really strong coming off of this. Um, Ooh. Wow. It's just a, a nice, thick, like a shaving cream uh, kind of head on it. Yeah, it's definitely. Black as night. I mean, it's it's a good looking stout. I like it. I yeah. think that's good. <laughs> Too often when you get these like. I mean, what do they say here? They've got, oh, it's got it's, this... Um, it's lighter than I thought it would be. Yes, yes. But they talk about, oh, it's got this uh, this black licorice and this flavor and this flavor and this flavor. And every time I have one of those type of beers, it's always like this punch in the mouth when you drink it. And you're like, oh, wow, that's that's a lot going on. Uh, this is just, it's very drinkable. Sitting on this beer for a few months has probably calmed down whatever sort of... Mm -hmm deep overpowering taste there would have been and maybe some of the darker fruits or the licorice i think it's all sort of settled down into this great sort of flat lined uh mixed taste profile right where it it is and and here's the thing i, I said it before it, it's it's thinner than i thought it would be or, or lighter excuse me lighter than i thought it would be stop but you go and drinking a stout and you're just like ah oh, it's gonna be this heavy sort of meal liquefied mm -hmm. steak this is very, very light, very, very... Have you ever seen My Best Friend as a Vampire? No. No? <laughs> it's, it's this awful movie from the 80s. Or maybe it was the early 90s. So there's, there's this scene where he's like first turning into a vampire and he's got this blender and he's, trying, he's making like a shake in the morning. He just grabs this big steak out of the fridge and starts squeezing the blood out of it and then just goes <laughs> and drops it into the blender. And just, and just made me think of that. People who normally wouldn't buy this beer would buy it for the gimmick, mm -hmm. to use that term, and not, not trying to make it a negative term.
but then they would try this beer and not be turned off by the fact that it's like punching the face with licorice and, and, and you know, whatever. I think this is a, a, a great attempt for Omegang, Omegang, Omeg, whatever your stupid name is, to reach. If you want to be popular, make a brand <laughs> that people know how to pronounce. Fight it, buy it, get it. Sure. Yeah, I'll shut up now. Seriously, is it Omegang? Omegang? Uh, it's Omegang. Omegang. Okay. 